Let's look at more of the new furnishings from the new Greymoor chapter for The Elder Scrolls Online. Hello, it's Icy. Yes, that's right. I am back with new things for furnishings from Greymoor. We're on to library desks. Uh, we have a very nice solitude desk with drawers. Always important. Uh, the vampiric desk. Oh my god. It's so good. It would look great in a boardroom office. Oh, oh, that's very good. CEO vampire. Oh, oh, the lectern. Oh, you could do a great magic school with some of this stuff. That'd be fantastic. All right, literature. Nothing new. Now this, all this stuff in here is new. I haven't browsed any of these bits now. Okay. Uh, solitude books. Oh, do you know? I like that there's no back on it. Oh, looks so good as a room divider. I like it a lot. Filled. Perfect. Skinny. <gasps> a skinny filled. Yes, please. Okay. And then we have versions with and without. Oh, I like the drawer at the bottom filled versions. Oh, is that differently proportioned? Narrow, noble, filled. No. Nope. Yeah, no, no. It's just oddly organized. Uh, the rustic? Actually, the rustic one is very good. I like it. Oh, and rustic filled. And then we have sort of wider ones with and without drawers and books. And we have rustic ones with and without uh, doors as well, with and without books. I like it a lot. Thank goodness for options with and without books. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, this one's one of my favorites. This beautiful, curvy, sort of, I don't know, thing. Plus, I reckon this will be great for using for other furnishing ideas too. Uh, oh, and the vampiric. <gasps> very nice. Fancy. With and without. Oh, that's great. Oh, it's so elegant. Oh, I like it. Uh, tall, with and without books, and sideboard shelves. Interesting. I suppose you could stick that on top of other stuff. It's a bit short, but it looks good. All right, lighting, always important. Uh, vampiric brazier, taloned. Very spiky. Not actually over the top spiky, where if you used it in a non vampiric house, it would be obvious. Horned candlestick, super cute. Uh, horned chandelier. Oh, wow, that's big. Sh um, steel and vampiric. Oh, oh, actually, I really like the vampiric one. I didn't think I would. But I'm digging most of the vampiric furnishings here so far. Okay, no fires, lamps, uh, tall amber lamp, very Victorian, very Victorian. Mm, do you know I'm not sure about like on the stand? I'm not sure about that one. That looks slightly, slightly awkward. These are beautiful. Are the little solitude lamps? So impressed with those. Oh, oh, I like it. It's not much good as a table lantern though, because obviously the light only comes out one side. But still, uh, street lamp of uh, single and paired vampiric light posts. Oh goodness. Oh, I'm not sure about the single one, but I kind of like them. I'm getting a, yeah, real Victorian feel. Um, oh, the candle sconce is really cute. Both of them. The horn sconces I actually like. I think they look great. Uh, the hanging sconces. Oh, we have some live flame ones. And a few more. With a candle. Mm, that one's nice. And the vampiric one just on the little hanging lantern, which is quite good as well. So let's take a look at what we have in here. So interestingly, you can't buy the soul, uh, you have a soul shriven, but you can't buy uh, the vampiric thrall through the crown shop. You have to seem, seems like you have to purchase it through the furnishing packs. See the previous video. 
We have a, a Chorus Egg. A Dormant Chorus Egg. <laughs> Why not? It's, um, it's an interesting one. Uh, but I think we'll save the rest for another video. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, it's good to have you here. Let me know what you think of the new furnishings in the comments below. Give us a thumbs up if you liked this video and come follow me over on twitch.tv slash ICYIC where I stream four days a week. I'd love to see you there. Thank you very much for watching and I will talk to you next time. Bye.